Hey everyone, so in today's video, we are going to design and simulate a boost converter in MATLAB Simulink. We know a boost converter is a type of a DC-DC converter that steps up the input voltage. It's like a transformer but for a DC. So for simulation, let us open the MATLAB and the Simulink, a blank model. This white area is where we are going to keep all our components and connect them. So to get the components, we'll hit this library browser. Now, Simscape contains approximately 60 to 70 percent of all the fundamental blocks. So we'll be using Simscape here. And then power system, then specialized technology. So as you can see, we have a schematic of a boost converter displayed on the screen. We have our input voltage source an inductor, capacitor, resistor, diode and MOSFET. So for the input voltage source we need an electrical source. For a diode let us simply write diode here. A MOSFET will be here. Now for the inductor, capacitor and resistor we will use the RLC branch. For those who don't know, uh, we can get an individual RLC with the help of this branch only. We just need to change the branch type here. We will copy that. One will be for resistor, one inductor, one capacitor. We will change the branch type in this to the inductor, capacitor. This RNC will be for the RC filter and this inductor will be connected here. So now let us connect the components. Let us also add power GUI here. So guys, as we can see, we have connected all the components here. Now for the measurement, we'll use the measurement blocks. We'll use two measurement blocks, one for the output voltage and one for the input voltage. display to get the numerical value of the output voltage and we will also use scope to analyze the graph. Now double click on scope and change the number of input to 2 because they are going to analyze the graph of output voltage as well as the input voltage. Now instead of connecting this voltage measurement directly from here to here we can simply use go to and from. Now everything is done. Okay, this current measurement that I'll simply use to measure the th uh, inductor current. We need pulse generator. This pulse generator is one of the most important part here because as we know DC-DC power converter works on the principle of PWM that is pulse width modulation and we can generate number of pulses depending on our requirements with the help of this pulse generator. So connect this pulse generator with MOSFET here. 
now everything is done as shown in the schematic uh, components are placed and well connected now we need to fill the values now this is where the tricky part is now people may ask what's the value of inductor capacitor and resistor but i have taken the values which is displayed on the screen it is so because for this boost converter of mine i'll be getting the output voltage is 48 volt where the input voltage is 24 volt current ripple and voltage ripple should not be more than 1% and 2% considering my frequency of the mosfet is 100 kilohertz so on the basis of those constraints i have calculated a value of r l and c which i'm going to feed here okay so for this i have taken my frequency to be 100 kilohertz and as we know period equals to 1 by f so 1 by frequency 100 kilohertz and this pulse width is the duty ratio which in my case is 50 percent input voltage which i have taken is 24 volts let us put the simulation time to be 0.1 seconds it should be noted that we need 48 volt to be the output voltage and where the input voltage is 24 volt so let us see so yes here it is the output is 48.0 full volt and the input is 24 let us analyze the graph as we can see with this yellow line it's the input voltage it's 24 here and initially the output voltage shoots up to 62 or 63 and later it settles down to the value is 48 and we can zoom it also we can also calculate the voltage ripple here we can minus this point to this point divide by the initial point so yes here it is the boost converter guys I have also modeled the same in the PCM also I have connected the input voltage as 24 the inductor the MOSFET diode capacitor and resistor so let us simulate and analyze the graph The input voltage is 24 and the output settles to 48. We can also zoom it here. It is the output ripple, output voltage ripple as we got in the MATLAB. So people, this was the boost converter which we have designed. I hope you like it and if you have any doubt, please write down in the comment section. Thanks.